I'm a fluvial geomorphologist, which means that I study physical process and form in rivers. My background is in geology. I've been working on rivers mostly in a field setting for uh, a few decades now around the world. This book is a synthesis of existing research on the effects of wildfire, so it's not focusing just on my research. My first research project after my dissertation involved looking at debris flows following wildfires in Arizona. After finishing my dissertation, I assumed a faculty position at Colorado State University. In several cases, after a fire has occurred, I've gone out to the burn area and looked at specific processes and how they've changed after the fire and then in the, the subsequent few years. And that's been fascinating, but one of the things I've become aware of is that you know, lots of scientists uh, from my university and other adjacent universities go out to burn zones and we all look at something within our specialty, as you would expect. But I've just become more curious about integrating across disciplines and trying to take a more comprehensive look at wildfires. The integration is the key. For me, writing this book, again, it's not focused on my own research, it's a synthesis of existing literature, and I learned a lot about everything from the weather that facilitates the start of wildfires to how wildfires spread, and how fires influence biological communities and human communities. And my hope is that other people reading this book will use it as a resource, learn about the, the most relevant research to particular areas that they might not be familiar with, but also to take this more integrated view of wildfires and think about them in the context of the complexity of the real world rather than just the processes that we each focus on. That integration is absolutely critical. One of the greatest challenges in understanding and responding to wildfires is how the many processes interact, changing climate, changing human communities, uh, presence on the landscape and land use, changing biological communities, uh, the changing hydrologic system, largely as a result of human actions and climate change. It, it's a trite thing to say that everything is changing, but as I think everyone's aware, it, it is changing because human populations and resource use continue to grow and the climate is warming. Understanding how all those multiple changes interact across these different aspects of wildfire is the greatest research challenge for the foreseeable future. Well, my, my hope is that people will read this book uh, or use it both as a resource to get a, a very concise summary of research on individual topics that they may be interested in, but I also really hope that people read the entire book and learn about areas in which they may not be very knowledgeable or might not even think about. I, again, that was one of the, the real pleasures for me was learning about things that I don't normally think about in my own research and, and I hope that it will serve that function for others as well. Thank you.